So last week, this happened to me during the stream. She's jelly, right, Bills? That's what I'm getting at. What just happened? And that was just the first time I thought it was a flu. Chat, there go my PS5. Oh, my God. This led to me searching online to try to figure out what was going on. I don't know if y'all can see the dust. As you can probably imagine, that didn't work either. So what was the cause of this? What was making my PS5 overheat? To the best of my knowledge, it was that I had my PS5 standing on the stand that it came with, not letting the airflow get in or escape through the bottom part. I wound up going to Amazon and found this PS5 stand with two cooling fans. It also has charging stations for your controller, but that's besides the point. I really was interested in the cooling fans towards the bottom of the PS5, hoping that it would help. Box kind of look a little crazy because when I got it, you know, I, you know, I was excited, was ready, hoping it would fix the issue, and it did. I've been playing the PS5 for about a week or two. I wasn't going to review this after one day because that could have just been a fluke. It's been a week or two. I've been playing the PS5 longer than I played it other times, and it hasn't shut off at all. Mainly, it's probably because this thing comes with a fan or it just gives the bottom part of the PS5 ventilation because if you don't know, the thing that they give you, the stand that they give you for your PS5 is this. But there's a bottom part to your PS5 and it's a ventilation, it's a vent at the bottom of your P5. So I want to assume that's probably why I was overheating and shutting off. At least it shuts off when it overheats. It could stay on and just damage yourself more. So at least it does that. But yeah, I had to do something and this really helped. Here it is right here. Comes with the USB slot right here that you hook into the back of your game. And once you hook it into the back of your game, it turns on the fans at the bottom as you can see the fans the two controller shop oh, <laughs> two controller slots front part of it they're both green when nothing is on them and then they're red once you put a controller on the slot i think that's kind of backwards it should be red when a controller's not on there but anyway three extra three uh usb slots i think that's that's one extra or no that's the total amount that you have because you got one in the front one in the back i'm drawing a blank but yeah how you do it in you slide your controller in you can have it this way so like if you got the disc version of the p5 you good but it also came with an extra part that i had to take out because originally you get it and it's like it's for the non-disc version because i think that's what most people wanted anyway but there's a white part that like covers this side right here so it's it's basically it doesn't matter what ps what version of the ps5 you have it's gonna cover all bases but i had to take that out because i have the other version Boom, once you pop your PC, I'm PC. <laughs> once you pop your PS5 in, just like the other one, screw that in through the bottom via this. Wow. So, pop your PS5 in. Wow. And now, really ain't got to screw it, but. USB port into in the back. You're not gonna lose out on ports. Like I said, it gives you three in the front. Right. Right. P5 stay in rest mode, so lights lit up. Boom. Two time fantasy champ back to back gonna be another one this year yeah turns red when the controller's hooked in and charger you hook it off boom hook it on out of boom turns red you press the fan button fan turns on not that loud but fan is on doing what it needs to do comes with these little clip things that you could put on the bottom uh Hopefully my fan can get that. But basically you hook it in to the bottom part of your controller. And then that's how your controller just clamps in. So you hook it in at the tail end of your controller right here. Right here. Wow. Then you hook it in. Boom. And that's how your controller is able to pop in. Boom. It'll turn red. 
letting you know that one of the controllers is on there. Wow. Got three USB slots in the front. Cause you need, it uses one of the USBs in the back. Hook it in, so it hooks to the back of your PS5. Comes with a USB port at the bottom. Hooks to the back of your P5. And you rocking and rolling, man. But that's what saved my PS5 from overheating. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll leave a link below the actual one that I bought. In case you guys want the cop, I'm out. Peace.